Sustainability is the critical issue that we have identified in the red meat industry and we've gone through a process of identifying the six key themes that we would need to, to look at in order to make sure or enable Australia to build the most sustainable red meat industry. 70% of the beef that we produce is sold overseas and those markets are extremely competitive. And if we lose the battle in those markets, then the red meat industry in Australia will suffer badly. So part of our research is, is around our technical access to markets, our non-tariff barriers to entry. And we're quite dependent upon the Australian government and the departments to be able to negotiate successful agreements with each of the countries into which we want to sell our product. The trade agreements are an essential part of this sale process, that if you don't have access to those marketplaces, then, then we'll fail in the, in the sale of our products. So we're going to be spending quite a lot of time on that to ensure that we will be sustainable in the long term. Without access to those markets, then we'll be unsuccessful as a domestic industry. Climate change is a constant for us, and we have commissioned quite a substantial amount of research this year to understand the macroeconomic effects of climate change. We're also having a look at uh, our social license to operate. So we are looking now at the socio-economic impact of the red meat processing industry in the regional centres in which we operate. It's an industry which contributes about 20 billion to the Australian economy. We employ 135,000 people in regional jobs. In Wagga here, the uh, Tees Cargill plant is a very important employer. And the red meat processing industry is a vital ingredient and I have to say that this location is quintessentially Australia. This is what it's about. I can't imagine what Australia would be like without the red meat processing industry. Thank you.